All right, everyone. We're doing something today that could cost me a lot of money if I mess it up. So hopefully I don't mess it up. We're gonna go shoot. It's a perfect day. No wind. Uh, so it's it's time to get a little risky, but we're gonna go warm up before before we do what we're actually gonna do. Oh, we, we're using this as the prop. This is the Total Archer Challenge truck from last year. We just took the wrap off the other day in the super scorching hot sun. It was like an 85 degree day and the wrap just came right off, but it's white now. I kind of like it, it's growing on me. What do you guys think? Oh, we're gonna have to shoot. In here somewhere. Ninety six. Nine point nine. Good enough. Ready here. Ow. Shameless. It'll be alright, it's pretty tight. Hopefully I don't hit my tail light out, but that's gonna be the least of my worries here in a second. Like ten yards off. It is 100, it's not 90. My sight tape was off. Imagine that. You can watch the other video if you don't believe me. Didn't miss. Touch left. That one sounded kind of funky. You hear that? I think it's flying weird. Yeah, it was like. We're gripping pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. We should be all right. Oh yeah, we're good. All right. Let's go do what we're gonna do. We're gonna go pull the truck around. Put it right here. Should be able to pull the target right, or pull the truck right where the target is. That's not bad. You think that's good enough, Mitch? That'll work. That'll work. Little room to little room to work with there. So if you haven't figured out by the thumbnail and everything that we're doing right now, I am I am an idiot. Really, I just like to have fun, be risky, but there's no better practice than to be under a little bit of pressure 
when you're uh, shooting 100 yards, we're gonna shoot through the windows of my truck to hit this target. So, with the windows down, of course. So. But, we're gonna, I'm gonna, we actually have to double check that it's actually gonna work. We might have to put it like on a little stand. I think we're literally just gonna set the target on the center console and shoot through the first window and just like shoot into the truck. I don't know. We'll see. See if it works. Just tell me when to stop. Yeah. I'm gonna have to run it over a little bit. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm not hitting the stump or anything, am I? No, you'll go over the stump. Okay. Right there, yeah. Gotta get our rain out the way. Don't drink that, you'll be shaking uh, too much. Yeah, that'll be shaking. I'd, I'd screw up if I chugged my nose right now. Alright, I hope this will work. I, my only fear is like, it hits the, it hits the, uh, like, window on the way down. Oh, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, sorry. The thing is, if I aim... If I aim like right here, because the arrow's coming in at an angle a little, eh, we gotta put that up a little bit. Let's see, what we got it. <laughs> we got a goldfish box. Oh, just lock myself out of my door. I feel like this is just gonna squash it though. Oh, money. Oh, dude, now we're talking. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, I need to roll down the other window. Ooh. Imagine, like, I'm going to roll down all the windows. That should be fine. Let's go walk down there and see what it looks like. Let's turn the truck off, actually. Okay, say so the engine. Imagine just right into the engine block. Probably wouldn't do anything. Should we put a rain on top? Good measure. Little trophy that's definitely falling over. All right, well, here we go. I'm an idiot. Hopefully I'm not an idiot. We're all right. Go see what it looks like. UPS just rolled up, so we gotta wait. All right, everyone. Well, as you can see, it is getting windy. <laughs> just a random bag. Um. Well, I'll pick that up later. Um. UPS showed up. We got, hopefully we got some bows. I'm supposed to get some bows. So we had to pause for them to get done whatever they were doing. So anyways, it's a little windy now. But it should be all right. All right, we gonna do this? Do it. I didn't hear any metal. Dude, I'm not doing more. <laughs> I, I was a little nervous on that. I like, ducked down into the door <laughs> and then ducked on the roof. And then I was like, <sighs> that was low key scary for me. <laughs> but I wanna know, would you guys, what distance would you guys trust for you to shoot inside of your own truck? Mine's about a hundred, that's it. You see it? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. 
That is how close I was. <laughs> Dude, I should have paid attention. Oh, you know what I didn't do either? I didn't range it after. Oh, dude, that was dumb. I guarantee that if we range this is like 98 yards. Do, don't you think? Like it's pretty dang close. It's close. All right. Well, well there you go, folks. I was that far away from just absolutely destroying my truck, but uh, left and right was pretty good, and. Uh, that was fun, it kind of got my heart going a little bit. So it's always fun to do like, push your, like it, there's only so many ways that you can get like your adrenaline pumping while shooting, shooting a buck or a deer and tournaments. So doing stuff like this is kind of like, kind of fun too. But I'm curious, I'm gonna go back and range it. And I am not doing, I, I was thinking, I was like, hey, maybe I'll shoot a, a couple. I'm glad I didn't shoot a couple there. I was high though, remember that? I had, everything was like up here last time. Like here, here, there, there. I'm gonna go range it. That was fun. I'm so glad we don't have to fix my truck now. <laughs> All right. Nah, it's a hundred. I just shot a little high. It's still fun. Let's go see if we got bows from UPS. All right, everyone. Well, we got some bows. For Matthews, we've been waiting on these a while. And for all of you that have bows ordered, I do not really get any special treatment. I've been waiting on these for like a month and a half, two months. That's how far behind they are with bows. Okay, well kind of a welcoming surprise. I figured why not open these bad boys up. We're not gonna set them up in this video, but we'll at least um, open them up, check them out. Forget exactly. It's been so long. I know what I got. I know what I got, but I kind of forget what um, combination of stuff I got. So. All right, let's do this one first. Always get a sick hat, but I've never worn this hat in my entire life. I don't like this style. Um, let's see. Ooh. I went with a different string color this time. I don't know if I like it. I'm with like a dark yellow. We'll see. Might grow on me. We got a uh, TRX 34 that we're gonna be building. Kind of like, the 34 is kind of like a, uh, a hunting target hybrid. Um, I know like a lot of longer draw length. Um, hunting guys said that they're gonna use this. I might use it for a 3D bow or just a messing around or like a total archery challenge bow even maybe. Um, this is a weird box. I've never gotten a bow in this type of box before. This might not even be a bow. It's not a bow. Got. Oh man, a couple QAD. I'm gonna mess with these. Um, we're actually gonna do a video on that soon. Got, ooh, got some swag, limb legs, shrewd. Uh, we got Ultra S Integrate, another shrewd deal. Some more swag. I'm missing out for and another shrewd thing so we are pretty much gonna be good to go so we're still waiting on a bow i got one more bow coming and these were all i'm all planning on doing massive bow build shooting shooting with these things another hat just trying to get it through the paper tuner <laughs> oh let's go i was hoping it was this one this is V331. I already have a V331, but I wanted to build this one out a little differently. So, yeah, I don't know. Those yellow, that yellow is way different. Way different than uh, like the other yellows. Might have to 
off that out. I don't know if I dig that. What do you think? I like it. You like it? Yeah. The only thing that it might clash with is the Be Real grips might be a little off. But we'll see, time will tell. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not a big color guy. I get, as you can see, black and yellow. I literally just like black and yellow, but I wanted to see if these yellow strings were any different. This is like, these are like the neon yellow ones. Um, just they can be kind of like pow, sometimes, but in, in they get really dirty because they're a lighter color. But anyways, we're gonna set these up. Uh, we might even we might even set one up today, so we'll probably be doing a video uh, a couple days from now. But it's crazy. Look at this. Look at the size difference of those. There's not much. Like this is a 31 axle axle, but the riser on the 31 is bigger than the 34. You see that? That's kind of crazy, huh? So I'm really interested to mess around with this guy, and I know a lot of people are. Um, just by talking to him and whatnot, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching me be an idiot today and risking risking my truck's windows and uh, body work for um, seeing how well I can shoot. I almost messed it up, almost messed it up by an inch or two, but we didn't, and uh, that was fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out brealmerch.com. We just got a bunch of new hats in stock. So if you've been waiting on a hat, wanting a hat, make sure you check it out, bureaumerch.com. We will catch you guys next time.